the right CRM for you is the one you are going to actually use every day. Brilliant words. We're going to go through all of that, give you all the details today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. And now your host, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, well, welcome everyone to the WBNO Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where together we align, connect, and prosper. This is episode 299, and you can find all our over at WBNLpodcast.com. Oh my God. Yeah, Brian, I'm glad we're talking about the CRM. We haven't talked about CRMs for a while. I know that, and you're going to talk about what you're using in your business. And you know what? It, it, you, that, that, that title tells it all, right? Because if, yeah. if, if you have a system and it works, great, right? But yes, but exactly right. Don't don't go get something. I, I don't want to. I don't want to jump to the end of the story here. But you know what? <laughs> don't just buy something to be buying it. You know. So come on. Yeah, on today's podcast, we are going to cover some key things about what to consider when you're choosing a system or a solution. I have said many times, and I'm going to reiterate it again. After all these years in the business, and I have used the majority of the ones that we're going to have listed for you in. The show notes today, I have come to the conclusion that simplicity is the way to go and more more is not generally better. And I actually think that having less things that you're going to use, I'm going to cover the key things that you need to have for your business, but I really think less is more in keeping it simple. So we're going to talk through that, but if you're really on the look for how you can manage your business. This is one of the key things in your real estate business and any business owner's business. But obviously we're going to talk about real estate today because you need to have a way to manage your client interactions, streamline your operations, right? Keep it simple, be more productive and manage a couple key things. And you need to be able to have it as automated as possible, but sometimes too much automation can backfire on you. Absolutely. So I feel the number one consideration when choosing a CRM solution or system that you're going to use for your business is you have got to like it. You've got to enjoy using it and treat it like it is your virtual assistant, which I really think it can be. Right. And if you don't want to go into it every, and you don't open it up every day, then you're wasting your money is really what I want to say. So simplicity and a key thing here, guys, is that I think you've got to have a system that's going to do these four things. Manage your contacts. OK, so a little bit more than manage your contacts. It's like you've got to be easily get to all the people that are in your database with all the key information. You need to be able to nurture and convert your leads. I'm going to call that your pipeline. So pipeline management, where, how do you have those categorized? How do you know who you should work with today? Where are they in the process? All the people in your pipeline, you need to track your listings, your pendings and your closings. Okay. So that's your book of business as it goes from leads all the way to closing, which brings the fourth point is how to manage those past clients, right. sphere of influence, again, your database. How do you stay in touch with your database so you can generate some more business, okay? So as I mentioned, a great CRM is like having a virtual assistant, but you actually have to talk to the virtual assistant, which means opening it up and interacting with it. And like all things, most of these CRMs now have AI-generated AI tools enhancements in there. We use that in, in MailChimp and other things that we use in our WBNL coaching business, all of that is in there to help you generate emails. So there's really some cool enhancements. Uh, but let's talk through, I really think you have to get clarity around why, besides those four things, what is it that you really want to accomplish with a CRM? So I think there are three types of CRMs. And looking at this and, and being at different stages of my career, there is an individual agent or just it's just you. You're the only one who's going to use it. And that, and you know, it's as simple as that. Then there is a version that you have a team. So maybe it's you and a partner or you and a small team or you and a large team. So a team CRM allows you to add users. Okay. And there are many of the individual uh, CRMs that are out there that have the ability to add. Okay. But there's some that are just a little bit less expensive and they are just focused on an individual user. So individual team and then one that has the IDX website included. 
Okay, so like you buy it and you have a CRM and you have a forward facing public website that integrates the leads and so forth. So those are the three categories, right, that we're going to talk about today. So I think it starts with what type do you need, right? And then here's the next thing to consider. Do you really need and will you use all the bells and whistles that come with these CRMs and the add ons and so forth? This is important because I'm telling you, Matt, when we had our company, we have used a lot of these team solutions. Absolutely. And one of the reasons we're not using those anymore on our team is our agents never went into the web, never went in and never used it. And we were wasting money. We found that clients weren't going to our website, our public facing website. Mm -hmm. So I feel at this point in the way people can access clients, okay, buyers and sellers that are looking for homes, for example, can access at their favorite portal. It's almost a waste of money. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it is a waste of money to have an IDX website, except for one reason, and that is your primary lead generation source is uh, paying for leads or using landing pages. You're, you're doing something to generate leads that come to your website, then obviously you need one. But if you're not doing that, you're just not going to get people to get off of Zillow and Redfin or Realtor.com or Homes or whatever they like to look at. And I tell you, Matt knows this story. I think I've said it on the podcast before. I learned this lesson a few years ago when I was in Florida and my sister Lorraine, who was in the real estate business uh, for a while out here in Vegas, I could not convince my own sister who was looking for, a, a, helped her with purchasing a couple homes um, over that time I was there. I couldn't get her to go to my app or my IDX website. She, I asked her to, you know, and she did it for me, but she just kept going back to Zillow. Why? Because Zillow and the others know how to get the people to keep coming back. Mm -hmm. They make their application sticky. And that's why there's millions of people that prefer the Zillow interface. They have learned on it or they like the Redfin interface or whatever it is they like, they're going to use that as much as you say, uh, you know, here, go on my website. They're going to say, here's one I found on Zillow. Can you show that to me? I mean, it's crazy. It happens to us every single day. People will text us from one of those platforms. These are the houses we want to go see. Right. Well, you get comfortable with what you like to what you're what you're used to, right? You you not to know, Jan, there it is. No yeah. one wants to go learn another yeah, system. No. The downfall of the CRMs that are that are out there, agents don't use it. So I'm I'm going on a long story here to say you may not need all the bells and whistles. Okay. So let's talk through last thing is what's your budget, okay? So in the, we're not going to break down all the CRMs uh, that are available that are the top recommended and ones that we've used, but we do have them in a table format in the show notes today. And we put it into two different tables. One is the team, the version that can have a team version and it has an IDX website integrated. So there's that group. And those are the most expensive ones, but there are a few in there that are a little cheaper yeah. that you could get as an individual agent and have a website and then you can add on for teams. It costs more the more users you have. Then we have another table that is not no team version and no, um, no IDX mm -hmm. website. And those are going to be your least expensive solutions. And they're broken down by what's the name of them, what are the key features that they have, and what's the cost, okay? So that's going to help you. But why don't we, Matt, go through and just list some of the factors for considering uh, you know, what to do for your CRM. And the very first thing is make sure that there are so many options out there, but make sure you're getting a real estate specific right. CRM. I think that it's there. I think if you go get something, there's some great ones out there, but if you have to go convert it into all the emails that you need for real estate and so forth, that's, you're never going to do that. And it's a huge waste mm -hmm. of time. It needs to be in a, be able to integrate with the MLS if you're going to have IDX and so forth, uh, lead generation. It needs to be somebody who knows how to use, do real estate to make your life easier. Okay. So industry specific real estate, obviously. Number two, it has to be easy to use. Mm -hmm. If they all have a learning curve, but if you're not going to like that interface and it's too technical and there's too many things to do, you're going to just not adopt it and you're you're going to hardly use it. And then again, you're going to waste time. And then you're not following up with people, right? That's the whole point. You're not generating your leads. You're not tracking your business, okay? The next thing is customization. And from the, this perspective, I just mean how easy can you 
go in and customize things like fields, the way your, your sales cycle goes, pipelines, uh, maybe some of the emails and stuff. Can you do some customization? Does it, if it comes with a website, is it easy to set up the website? Are they going to do it for you and so on? Then of course it's how do you manage the contacts and leads? This is probably, again, my top four was your contacts and your lead management right? Um, or two of the key ones off the top of the yep. show today, right? Yep. So it's central. That's really what you're doing. It's client relationship management. That's what CRM stands for. So what are those details? Well, you need more than name, rank, and serial number. You need more than name, email, contact information. You need, I think, fields where you can have notes, um, track certain things like birthdays, when you close, these are all things that you want to do to follow up. That's all simple things that you need in there. And you obviously need, if you're going to use it because you're a big lead generation kind of um, source of business, then you have to have a way to continue to nurture those leads and having some automatic automatic emails and stuff that goes out are important. Um, you might want to look at, does it have some integrated marketing tools or can it integrate easily? For example, can you connect with MailChimp or some other way to do a newsletter? Is there a newsletter function in there? I, I, perf I prefer to use, and I'll talk about what our system is in, at the end here, but we prefer MailChimp. We have had success with people opening our newsletter on a monthly basis to the tune of 50 to 60% of our contacts open our newsletter and and I think again, that MailChimp is an easy it's it's user-friendly uh, program too so it's super easy to set up a template in there I think it has a better delivery rate yeah. and then of course if you're providing great content in a newsletter then you know people are going to look forward to it and open it but there could be some other things like social media integration but again all these things are awesome if you're going to use it hmm. so don't pick something because it has 20 different features you know uh, unless you really have a system or you have an assistant or someone's going to help you with those. All right. The automation, repetitive tasks like follow-ups, email sequences, alert notifications, these things can help a little bit too. Like little things like a reminder, it's Matt's birthday today. Right. So I think those are definitely useful. It definitely has to be mobile. I don't think there's anything out there right now that doesn't have an app. Like in other words, your CRM, looks different on your laptop or your computer, but they have a, a mobile version so you can access your CRM in the field. And it needs to be user-friendly and work easily for you to have. A lot of times the app will have less features, but the key ones, the contact management, the ability to send an email or to look something up and so forth, look at your, your pipeline and, and all that. Now there are some other integration things that you might wanna have like calendar, might need to, obviously with the MLS, calendar apps, maybe documents. They're, they're, they all work with Google and Google Drive and things like that. So pretty much all the CRMs will have some type of the core things you need or you might want to integrate with. Like for example, I used to use BombBomb for video and that, that, would, that integrated with KB Core, for example. And we were able to easily use that to send a video email. Now we use Loom. See, I have gone to completely, I don't, you don't need a in my opinion, I don't need the bomb bomb platform, which was great for video, but it didn't have all the real estate tracking stuff that I need. So we actually kind of designed our own thing using three, basically using MailChimp, the suite of Google Drive tools and um, Loom. Okay, because we do a lot of videos to our clients, but we use Loom, which is a Chrome extension, right? Uh, a, a CRM could have reporting and analytics. That's all. That's useful too to let you know. You know, um, you could get print out reports for your client, you know, for uh, who your various categories of clients are, or if you're tracking marketing and things to that effect. And if you are going to go with a full-blown CRM, there needs to be some great support to help you mm -hmm. if you have problems and excellent training. And I find that all the ones I've used through the years, that's how I learned them, right? You know, I went to the training, I learned it, and then I started integrating it. And that is the key. You've got to take the time to learn the system and then uh, use it every day and you'll be good to go. And then obviously the cost. So you'll know what you need to do with that based on what your budget is and what you're looking for. And then the last thing is do the research, you know, go, uh, go into forums online, get opinions from other people, read the reviews and see what people like about the various ones. I'm telling you, it's really nuts. Um, how many options are out there? Uh, I want to talk just briefly about, um, 
So on the table, the tables that we've got in the show notes, a couple of them that we've used before. So I'm going to go to the team versions that have the IDX website. Property base is like $79 a month. I haven't used that, but Chime is a very popular one right now, but that thing is like 500 bucks a month. And so is KB Core. And, you know, you're going to talk between 500 and 1200 to 1500 a month to have a team solution that has so many user seats and all these, all the bells and whistles that you might need, uh, including KB Core. Uh, Real Geeks is another one. Sync. I've used all those. I've used iExact Contact, which you can actually get as an individual user down to $38, but it also has IDX and so forth. So it, it all varies. Boomtown. Those are the key ones that are out there. And I have used them. I have coached people with them. And those solutions are great if you are a lead online lead generation um, team. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that means your Zillow leads or wherever else that you might be paying for them, they can all come through. You can do Facebook advertisement, uh, Google advertisement and so forth. And it all generates into landing pages. And that is the way those things work. And then, of course, on the individual side, you're going to see things like Lion Desk. The one I'm thinking of going back to, I've used Lion Desk, but I'm thinking I'm going to look at I might go back to Lion Desk. It's one of the most inexpensive um, ones, if I want to switch back to using something, I just haven't made the transition. I've used Wise Agent, Top Producer, Realty Juggler, Follow Up Boss is a big, huge favorite um, as well. Uh, that I have a lot of clients that really love Follow Up Boss. So, but for me, if I was going to go and choose one right now, I'd probably look at Lion Desk or Follow Up Boss. That's just my personal. Don't need the IDX website. Those are two I would consider. But I'm going to end with what it is that we are actually doing. I was going to say, let's get into that because I think it's really interesting because the system that you're um, using, you're building, you are using, right? And it's actually working for you. So you're Well, it is, working, is but it? we're going to hit a time that we're going to have to switch back. And I really mean that less is more because between Cosmo and I, um, we both have different styles and what we're going to do and, and why we haven't taken our system and switched it over to one, to either Lion Desk or Follow Up Boss is both of us pushing back a little bit on our, we like what we use right now. So what we created was custom drive spreadsheets. Okay. So first of all, what we have doesn't cost us anything other than $33 a month for MailChimp. Okay. Everything is free and it's okay for where we're at right now because we're just at a less than a couple hundred contacts that we're following. But as we get bigger, we're going to have to switch it over to, you know, but anyway, we have a drive, with multiple tabs and why we like that is no matter where we are, we can easily access it. I can easily access it on my phone. And we, when we have our, our zoom meetings on, you know, uh, several times a week, we look at this drive. And so we have it into the pipeline, which is between now and 120 days. Okay. And they're just organized and we color code it sometimes as to who's taken the lead. You know, I'm one color. He's, he's I'm like a purple color. He's a blue color. And we update our notes and we have key things, all their contact information, our notes, when was the last contact and when's our next contact? Very, very simple. When those people, and then we have people that are 120 days and beyond, and we have another one that's maybe a someday, maybe, you know, if you will, it's not like they, we've met them, we've contacted them or they've contacted us, but they're on a third tab. Then when they go under contract, we move them to a pending tab and we have that organized so we can track what's going on with our pendings. Then our pendings become closings and it allows me to put into another tab with the key in a format with the key information so I can import it into MailChimp if I need to, because MailChimp is where we stay in touch with all of our clients. Everybody on our database gets a monthly newsletter or any other specialty things that we want to send out. And uh, it's as easy as that. And then when we're working with leads, we use Loom. Loom you can get the Loom Chrome extension because everything we use is Google and Gmail. And we do a detailed, hey, it was great talking to you on Zoom. Here is, let me, Cosmo is the best at this. He will go in and he will record a map and all this and say, when you come out for your orientation tour, he's doing one today, actually. Uh, and he, we already sent the video saying, here's all the areas that we're going to take you on here. Let me tell you a little bit about this or that. Or here's a list of homes to go look, you know, research online. And we do that and people love it because it shows the the sure. detail of what we're doing to nurture that lead to say, there's no one else that you want to work with. We're the experts. And that's it. MailChimp, the Google Drive scenario. And I have a different closing report. We track all our production on a different spreadsheet with our team. 
and we can sort that and, and, and handle that on at any given time. We know how many closings we have, where we're at with our goals. And that is the simplicity of it. Okay. But you and know, why what, this is, it's, it, it's a simple system, but what the key to that system working once again is actually looking at it and, and, and moving your stuff around. The fact that you guys do those meetings all uh, together and you talk through that together is the success of that system. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. And it's funny because here I am coach. And if you go back and research and pull up, if you went to YouTube right now and, and looked up, you know, choosing a CRM, you might come across our videos, one of our most popular videos. And I talked about a lot of the things on there about how important it was to have a CRM. But I have to tell you why we're even doing this now is just to finish up is that a CRM is critical. A way to keep track of your business and your system right. is a critical component to your business. But the bottom line is, You've got to do something and use something and or design something that you're going to use every day. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Okay? You, know, you hit on something I think it's really that, uh, that just it stood out in my ear. And I hope everyone really heard what you said there about, um, you know, the follow up and, and, and providing value. Because now more than ever, especially if you're representing a buyer, you do need to represent and show what kind of value you're bringing to the mm -hmm. table. So if you think about your CRM as less about an automated way that you're going to stay in contact with someone, but more uh, a value driven way that you can really show what you're doing for a client and how you are going to, um, to really enhance their buying experience, that's going to get yep. you paid <laughs> as the whole commission thing changes along the way, because you are showing that you're actually working for them so um and i have to say this though it this simple system of not using a very specific real estate crm like i have in the past works for one reason only besides the reason that we use it every day it works for the way we generate our business absolutely if we were back at uh, facebook ads and google ads we would have to go with uh, a different system because we need the automatic nurturing i found and when we did that I found that people did not open up those emails and they did not use the texting that comes in those CRMs. And honestly, that auto texting feature, I don't think is worth it for everyone because everyone is sick and tired, including me, I bet you too, of getting unsolicited text. In fact, there's some legislation coming down to stop a lot of that. So you, you need to be able to connect with people on your real phone. So, Again, if you are a online lead generator, you need one of those systems because you've got to rely on that in addition to your phone calls and to try to get sort through all those people to find the two in 10 that might talk to you. Okay. But we generate clients through our social media and our videos. So people reach out to us. We, we do a different follow up. We're DMing people. We're following up in that way. It, it requires more hands on, but the people are already, uh, kind of fans, if you will, before, yeah. before we, so it's a completely different animal. So again, that system, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here as a coach going, you don't maybe create your own CRM. Yes. If you have a, a, a way your business is coming in and you find, and you have a way that you're going to stay in touch with people and not drop the ball, track your business, track your pipeline and your closings and, uh, and then staying in touch with all the people. So you don't drop the ball. As long as you have that integrated into our, pendings and so forth are the tasks of everything that we have to do. So all of that is integrated into the system we created with Drive. We use MailChimp for our, our monthly follow-up and we use Loom in our nurturing of leads and so forth and videos and different reasons to keep people updated. So that works for us. It may not work for you, but the bottom line and to close is do your homework, choose something, give it, a, they all have a trial. A lot of them have a trial. Go in and see if you're going to use it don't get into long-term contracts necessarily until you really know that you're going to use it. Otherwise you're wasting, you know, money and time and you don't have time for that. All right. That's all. That's all I have. It's good stuff. Have you can find all the show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. This is episode 299. And you can go check out those tables because there's a lot of great information in there. You know, it's got all the all the, the top uh, CRMs listed there that you can go and kind of do a little comparison uh, shopping there. But, you know, Jan really hit on something just a second ago. You know, most of these uh, uh, companies have a trial that you can get in there and like really, you know, kind of do a little bit of a test drive on them to see if they're going to work for you. So, um Go check it out. And we'll put links to our videos, uh, our CRM videos on there as well. So good stuff over there. Hey, uh, in July, we're having a special. Everyone likes a special, right? Midsummer special. Our special this month is on our real estate sales builder certification course. If you, uh, which is uh, the kind of the adjunct, the add-on to our real estate sales builder course. So if you are a 
a team, a small brokerage, heck, even large brokers. We'll take large brokers too. Um, and you're looking for a turnkey solution for a training for your real estate agents. Our real estate sales builder uh, course absolutely fits the bill for that. And our certification course actually shows you step-by-step -step on how to implement that course into your company or your team. So go check that out. It's 20% off in the month of July. So go check that out over on our website, WBNL, uh, wbnlcoaching.com. Just go to our homepage. There's a big old huge button right there at the very top of our That's website. Right. Yeah, just push that button and it will take you over and you can use coupon code REBC24 RESBC24 -E -E um, at checkout to get that 20% off. And we have a couple different tiers there for that program as well. So go, go check that out uh, over at WBNLcoaching.com. Jenna Bryan has been on vacation getting recharged and refreshed. I, I haven't even heard all the stories. I'm looking forward to, to hearing those. And, and lucky for me, I'm going to get to do that because Jan's coming out to California next week because we're going to be filming our 300th episode next week. So uh, good stuff happening there too. So we get to, I'll get a little catch up with Jan O'Brien and we're going to be doing milestone episode for crying out loud. I, I, That's right. I wonder, I, I never really had to really given thought to what, like how many episodes we would do when we started this podcast, but you know, getting to 300 is a pretty big, a pretty big milestone so wow i am um looking forward to this we got some good things planned for that as well so what we're else gonna do some remote we're gonna do some remote footage not just in the studio i can dare say that part of that is going to be magical all right well we'll see we'll see everybody next week for episode 300 that's right get up get out and align connect and prosper